What's up, y'all? Before we get into the video, just wanted to remind y'all of a couple of things. First, the Hunt the Front Pace Car Bristol 1000 Pace Car Giveaway is almost over. You have until Sunday, March 3rd. That's just a couple days from now. Sunday, March 3rd. You go to hdfmerch.com, get your order in. Remember, every $10 you spend is an entry for the giveaway for the uh, the Pace Car. hdfmerch.com to see the complete giveaway rules and how you can enter without purchasing. Uh, but if you want to do it the easy way, just get over there, get to our website by Sunday, March 3rd, get your purchase in. Every $10 you spend is an entry for the giveaway. Also, there's been a slight change of plans. There's uh, weather coming in this weekend that could affect the clash on the coast. So the uh, promoters of the event have moved up the program. It's going to start with practice Wednesday night, and racing actually starts now on Thursday instead of Friday. So uh, the night three of the clash on the coast, the IMCA modifi Modifieds, starts Thursday. And you can watch it on imca.tv. Again, we appreciate IMCA TV letting us co-stream the first two nights in Northwest Florida Speedway. Nights three and four, which will be Thursday and Friday, are going to be on live on imca.tv. Get over there, get your pay-per-view, and support the event. All right, we are at Northwest Florida Speedway, and as you just saw there at the driver's meeting, there's a ton of IMCA modifieds and street stocks signed in for the second annual clash on the coast i believe we had over 90 imca modifieds pre-registered close to 60 stock cars pre-registered and we got us a pit area full of uh really good cars getting ready to battle here at northwest florida speedway just north of baker florida this is round one of four of the clash on the coast we will be here tonight and tuesday night tomorrow night and then we will move over to southern raceway down to southern raceway where we'll practice thursday night and race friday and saturday you can watch tomorrow night live on hunt the front tv and then this weekend if you like what you see what you will go over to imca tv to watch all the the two nights at southern raceway here is joseph's ride for the week the same car he drove last year the andrews autosport acres.com slim chickens lethal modified you ready oh man not what'd yet. you draw 73 oh that's good that's good what about jesse i think he was like we were looking at it a while ago i can't remember what it was but he was like got guaranteed to be on the front row of the heat typical yeah right well hey if you can't get it done it won't be from uh, a lack of tires well, not anyway. <laughs> yeah. There is two cars running on these things, though, so... Uh, do they run the same tires? Yeah. yeah. Okay, okay. That makes a little more sense. <laughs> so Joseph's teammate, Kenny Wallace, will be in this car, in the uh, Andrews Auto Sports stock car, IMCA stock car. We'll see if maybe they can uh, work together and figure these things out. Like I told Joseph, they got plenty of tires to get the job done anyway. So is this your first trip to Northwest Florida Speedway? It is, and... Uh, I was kind of surprised. It's like a big Batesville. It's a you know it's a small truck, right. but it's got a lot of old that circle to it. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Got it last night, and I thought this track's smaller than I thought it'd be. But once it got going, I'm like, we're rolling. There you go. Yeah. Which did you like more, the mod or the uh, stock car, or which did you feel more comfortable in last well, night? Well, right now I like the, I like the mod better. It feels really good. The right front's down. It's got grip on entry, but but everybody's so fast. You right. Know what I mean? I run UMP, and UMP, those tires, those motors, a mm -hmm. whole new world. Yep. Uh, this IMCA deal, this is not my deal. Right. And these guys are extremely fast. And uh, There's know, a lot I, of them here, too. Oh, yeah, they're all here. Mm -hmm. the, the, because it because it's the weather's so bad at Lord. Yeah. There's nobody here for the money. Let's put it that way. <laughs> here for the weather, huh? No. <laughs> the weather and the racing. We're, we're, here, we're here because we love racing. There you go. And warm weather this time of year. Yeah, y'all pull the winners and pull down for an interview, or? I don't know. Anyway, you doing one heat winter interview? Yes, yeah, so they said put a shirt on and headset and come get the microphone. So. You're on the front row. Look yeah. at that, Jesse on outside pole. Drake Finley. How many they take? Two. Two. Top two transfer, top two to take. Better go. Oh, Lord, I'm nervous. <laughs> How about Joey? Yep. There he is, eight. Right. Starting, Joseph is starting eight right ahead of Colin. So yep. Jesse's teammate will be starting right behind Jesse's best buddy. And they both got a in this one too. Oh, Holy we crap. Got a bad draw. Last year's champion. He's this is a bad. tough heat. Yeah. So, top two from each heat will transfer. 
George was starting eighth, Jesse's starting second. <laughs> you nervous? Yeah. going off. That means the green flag is coming off at turn number four. Dan McIntoon and Brad Wasman. Minnesota and Michigan on the front row with the green flag. Wade will race them on down to turn number one. McIntoon right there. Justin Kine. said something so you know competition is tough so every every driver right now is judging their self oh, I didn't do good or I won so I said no matter what this trip I'm we're gonna fun. have a good time you ready I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> you, you sound like you're ready go oh, get them <laughs> hey make good of your good draw I'm gonna turn your camera on Heat race time for the mods. Joseph will be starting eighth in his heat. Jesse will be starting on outside pole in his heat. Top two transfer, they are 12 laps long. Kate Ogle out of Lubbock, Texas, the 7-Eleven, and Joseph Joyner out of Milton, Florida, driving the 01. flag here let's see what old Pat, let's check back in with Pappy Leonard oh took a tilt the world ride and then just stays in her and says I gotta get out of here then he'll run her to the infield and then it's not over from there for Pappy he's gonna spin around the infield and then <laughs> wow I caught that out of the corner of my in real time but when you slow it down G-Wagon Holy bejeminies. Gary, you want to try to give this announcing deal a try? I don't know about this. I might be able to poke in there every <laughs> All right, once you, in a while. Yeah, you color on in here. We'll right. need you. Here we go. Jim Taylor going to be your race leader down on the turn number one. Get Byron up here. 
here later or maybe tomorrow. Ooh. Trevor Finn's going to work on the outside. Here comes Matt Warner. Warner going to rumble and stumble down through turns one and two. The end of three and four, they go off of turn number four. It's going to be the animal. Jeff Taylor out of Locust Grove, Arkansas, your race leader. Going to be Trevor Fitz out of Marshalltown, working the top. Here comes the Illinois racer. Turn number three or one and two, it's gonna be Taylor, followed by the 93 of Warner, the 28 machine of Fitz. They'll work down to the checkered flag. It will be, oh, hang on, boy, howdy, that was close to being total stupidity right there. I thought we were gonna crash him up on the front straightaway. All right, eight to four for Joseph. He'll be in a B main later. Here we go with Jesse starting on outside pole, top two transfer. Here we go, getting ready to go to the green flag off of turn number four, gonna be Drake Finley and Jesse Gifterkin. Right there to number one and two spots. They're gonna be four wide, get down to turn number one and two. Oh my! Off of two and out of back straight away, it's gonna be Drake Finley, your race leader. Gifterkin, old Jesse right there, working the top of the racetrack as they hurry down the back straightaway and down the front straightaway, Jesse Gifterkin, your race leader. Enter Ken right there up front, followed by Drake Finley. Then it will be Lance Arneson out of Abrams, Wisconsin. Sitting back there in the number three spot. Keith Lamphere out of Pennsylvania working the 98K car. So happy 8 o'clock to you home in East and Central Standard Time as they work on down into turn number 3 and 4. Jesse Interkin out of Milton, your race leader. Drake Finley working second. 21M machine right there in third. That is Jeremiah Hurst. The 87 machine right back there working Keith Lamphere on the inside. John Webb out of pole. Next time by, we'll be looking at the white flag and one lap to go for your race leader, Jesse Enterkin. Off with turn number four, gonna be coming down. Checkered flag is out. The Milton Florida racer, Jesse Enterkin to the win. Drake Finley rounds out your top two transfer cars. All right, a guy that uh, has made a few laps around this place. The locals probably know him pretty well. He can't get his window net off. Let me help him out there. Jesse, you let it all hang out on the high side and came through with a heat race win, uh, kicking the clash on the coast off on a solid note. How you feeling after that? Uh, you know, we had to, had to take advantage of having a good pill draw and be on the front row, make the best of it. And, uh, you know, tomorrow night's going to be a little bit tougher, but, uh, you know, good, good, really good race car, and I was just able to hold on to it. And uh, racetrack's phenomenal, so shout out to the crew uh, uh, working on the track and everybody coming out tonight and everybody watching on Hunt the Front TV and IMCA TV and the Thoroughby uh, Motorsports for a Let Me Wheel This hot piece. There you go, Jesse Hennigan hitting all the points, all the oh. notes. Want to know some other news? I redrew the one. Oh, you're on the pole? <laughs> Good job. Oh, dang, I sure was. I was almost a shot. I, 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 what? Am I doing this right? I can bring you leave it on the floor. I wanted to. I, I got right above the holes. I don't know if you ever got up as high as Jesse. I don't know if you couldn't. Especially in three and four. Jesse was up. I didn't ever want four. to. Yeah, you afraid it wouldn't turn? Yeah, oh, yeah. The first couple laps when I got up there, like after that restart, but then after a bit, there was just dirt up there, and then you drove right by me. 
felt good. <laughs> All right, Jesse's gonna be leading them to green. Ghost is over there, got some work left to do. Joiner, Milton, Florida, the 0 1. Chance Lee Perdiman at a pair of gold, Arkansas. Getting ready to run him on down. Green flag comes out. We're going underway. It's going to be Dallin Murray across the snoot, down the back straightaway. Myron DM to the number two spot. Look at this, a 0-1 at Joiner, White Castle did lead a little bit of romance on Myron DeYoung. DeYoung's going to serve it back. Battle for second. Turn number three and four. Green's up. Here we go. 99X and Birdie. Here comes Myron D. Young down to the inside. Seven down, eight to go. Zero one, a joiner's gonna get hustled as now, oh boy. 27 lane to skirt right across the nose. The 27 see a Kate Mitchell parked her on the student joiner, joiner, joiner pedal her back. I won the, I won the 
feature. Let me, let me govern this state. <laughs> hey, it's all up to you now, buddy. Oh, Joseph didn't make it. Kenny didn't make it. Colin didn't make it. Bo didn't make it. Bo didn't make it. We're counting on you, buddy. No pressure. No pressure. <laughs> no, you got this. You're good, dude. All right, we're down to main event. Stock car main event coming up, and then it'll be Jesse leading them the green and the modified. Jesse and her kin. Bone Larson. Rue number one. Try it one more time. Into three off of four. Candles are lit. Green's waving and it's showtime in Florida. Work on down into turn number one and two. It's going to be Bone Larson right there to the race lead. Jesse Unterkin back to the number two spot. Dylan Thornton to third. Jeff Taylor is in the number four spot. Guarantee you now have got to find some partners early in this one and go up and get the top cleaned off and work it to the round. Dylan Thornton right there to the number three spot. Jeff Taylor with him. Kenny Schrader. Ken Schrader back in the number five spot. Brian Mullen is running six. Oh, Fuller about run into the wall on the bottom of turn number four, trying to sneak on down there. stay there it is yellow flag. nice and easy five down 20 to go bone brings him to the green we're underway larson here comes dilly dilly thornton on the bottom looking at bone inner kid right there in the number 47 car up on the top dylan thornton to 38t got a wiggy wagon working the top of the racetrack he is inner king up on the top they'll work him on down. Sunday morning off of turn number four, back to the green flag. Working on down the back straightaway, Interkin right there to the number two spot. 38 uh, T of Dylan Thornton. Thornton right there. is out working on into turn number three and four green flags out here we go bone larson gonna rock and roll here comes jeff taylor jeff taylor to the top of the racetrack the animals right there dylan thornton look at jesse interkin interkin in the 47 the 47 car oh he blew her in there top about got her crossed up that's gonna let jeff taylor come back to the inside Larson followed by the 38 T machine right there. Working on into turn number three and four. Hustling on in. Working on down the back straight away into turn three. 
three off of four. Now down into turn one and two. Just that quick, Larson, your leader. Ryan Mullen out of Seymour, Wisconsin, the inside of Interkin. That's your battle for the number five spot. Give it to Mullen. Taylor right there. Jeff Taylor looking this time by five to go. Four fingers and the thumb, a handful. I think we would have maybe got a podium out of the deal. You were coming on. got it. Go out. there at the end. Yeah. Just had a bonds out of turn one and just, goosh, goosh, just bounce through it and just and then exit right above that rough patch. And I was running yeah. down. Took you too long to find Took it. Took me too long. Leader was kind of running that kind of like a slide, slide on, on a little bit. You couldn't. You were doing that a little bit. You couldn't get off good enough oh, yeah, down you were the back too straight away. Down the center through the through center, center and yeah. then you couldn't get down. Go. Well, I feel like I learned that at the end. I started kind of. I straightened up and was able to. Yeah, you, that, whoever was behind you was on you. Yeah. And you I pulled off from them yeah. and caught the two ahead yeah. of you. Well, hey, well, guess what? Yeah, you I'm gonna get, be in the back. Tomorrow. You get a high bucket tomorrow. You get the low bucket, don't you? I hope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, Lord. Damn, you better six. get your car faster. Six is the best. No, I got fourth. You got fourth last. here last year. All right, that'll do it for night one of the Clash on the Coast. Jesse did his proud there with a sixth place finish out of 97 cars. Joseph missed the show. Jordy missed the show. But the good news is it's night one, and we get to come back and do it again three more times. We'll be right back here at Northwest Florida Speedway on Tuesday night. Then we'll move to Southern Raceway for the weekend. You can catch that live, those two events, three, rounds three and four live on IMCA TV. Did you have fun doing I the, did. the interviews? I had a, a lot of names that I did not know. <laughs> but, hey, at least, yeah. you, at least you knew uh, one name for sure yeah, in Jesse's, the heat races yeah. there. I know a few of the mods. I, I, I realized that the street after the stock cars, I'm like, I don't know any of these guys or anything about them. I'm mispronouncing names and getting them all wrong. And then the mods roll off their heat. I'm like, oh, okay. Bo, Bo slays on the pole of the first heat. Like, I don't <laughs> know these guys. Know, and he didn't. But uh, anyway, it was, uh, anyway, yeah, it was fun. I enjoyed it. Thanks to the IMCA TV guys for letting me do it. There you go. Don't forget about the Camaro giveaway. That is going to end March 3rd, which is coming up very, very soon. Sunday. Sunday. Is that Sunday? It is Sunday. Are you sure? Yes. Get over to hdfmerch.com, get you some merch, and get entered for a chance to win the Camaro. Tune in to watch the rest of the racing, and thanks for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. We'll see y'all later.